I have always been particularly um, proud of my bladder on road trips. I've traveled a lot, and it's always served me very, very well. And I didn't realize this until one time when I was traveling across the US, and my friend and I, who I was traveling with, we never had to stop until it was time to set up our campsite. The nature of, and we would travel all day long to get out west and sightsee. The nature of my job um, over the past five years, um, I have had to take a lot of solo uh, road trips to West Virginia. And from here, it's about a five and a half hour drive if I stop, and I can make it in under five hours if I don't stop for one restroom break. And that makes me very proud of my bladder. <laughs> <laughs> on this particular trip, well, on all of my trips, my list for what I need to have in my car includes gummy bears, a 20 ounce uh, hot tea, and two 16 ounce waters. And I will drink them all on my way and typically never have to stop unless there is the circumstance in, on this particular trip where I had a Fiat, which has barely any place for gas in the tank. So. I, on my road trips, I listen to my podcasts. I love my trips to West Virginia. I don't mind them at all. And on this trip, I was meeting up with some coworkers as soon as I got into town. There was about 11 of us coming into town. We were staying at the same hotel, parking in the same parking garage. And so I'm arriving. I'm getting pretty close to my destination. And I, I have to stop for gas, but I don't need a restroom break. So I stop at this podunk little gas station in West Virginia, which kind of freaked me out because it was dark, except for the little gas station. Filled out my gas tank, made it to my destination, pull into the parking garage. Now, when I'm pulling into the parking garage, I'm actually pulling into, and it's dark. It's, it's winter, so it's about six o'clock at night, seven o'clock, and it's underneath my office building. So I could see a coworker at any point in time. It's where I'm based out of. And on the other side of the alleyway is the Marriott, where I'm staying. And I knew that all of my coworkers were arriving at the same time, because we were going to grab a drink together and uh, have, have a little rendezvous. And so I get out of my car. And as soon as I step foot out of my car, I start peeing. And I am looking around like, is this really happening? I've made it. <laughs> 35 years without peeing after a road trip like this, and it's happening. So I am now frantically running around my car, don't know what to do. I'm just running back and forth. Unfortunately, I had brought Cheez-Its with me, so now there is my footprints around my Fiat, SUV, my Fiat, and then Cheez-Its to outline exactly where they were sticking to in my pee. And I don't know what to do. The, car, the parking garage attendant is there, and my Marriott is right there, and I'm like, who has cameras and is watching this? There are no cars next to me at this point in time, but I know my co coworkers are gonna start pouring into this garage. So I'm racking my brain, I'm freaked out, because this has never happened. So I call my husband and I say, Mike, I don't know what just happened. There's something wrong with me. I'm gonna die. There's no way I'm gonna make it through this week of work. Why would this happen? And he was like, you just drink a lot of stuff on the way. You're old. Just go up to your hotel room and take care of business. So I go back into my Fiat. I change up my pants. And luckily, I had leather seats. And so I walk through the Marriott like, hi, I want to check in. I hope nobody saw me on this video. Do they have video cameras? I don't know. So I make it up to my room. I do not tell a single soul at work what's going on. So later on, I call him back and I say, well, we'll see how this week goes. And all week long, I had to use the restroom way more than normal. And so the weekends, it's fine. I make my road trip back to Philadelphia. And at the time, I was living in South Philly. And my husband says, or it was a Thursday night. And uh, it was great seeing him after my road trip. But then Friday night, he had to go out to his parents. He was drawing something for me for our anniversary that was coming up. And so I'm getting ready for a Christmas party. It was December. I'm making food. And all of a sudden, it dawns on me. I was like, why could this be happening? Maybe I am pregnant. And I never expected it because we did not have the easiest time. And we weren't doom and gloom about it. We were actually OK. It will happen when it happens. It will happen when it happens. So I take a pregnancy test, and it comes out positive. And I was like, 
it's expired. This one's from so long ago, I need to go to the CVS. So I go up to the CVS, and it's a South Philly CVS, so there's a lot going on. And I'm like, perfect, self-checkout. So I, go my, I do my self-checkout, I'm walking through, Apparently, pregnancy tests are stolen a lot. There's an alarm. It literally scares the bejesus out of me. So I throw it up in the air, and now the pregnancy test has flown across the way. And I bring it home. Well, after I explained to the person, I was like, it's a pregnancy test. I'm not stealing it. You can check the receipt. I got to go. Um, after I got home, I took it again, and it came up positive. But I did not want my husband to, because he had left the city to hang out with his parents for the night. I didn't want them to catch wind, so I said, you got to get home. you got to get home. A pipe has burst in our bathroom, and there is water everywhere. So he comes home, and he charges up the steps, and he's very handy, so I knew he'd be like, I'll fix it, no problem. So he charges up the steps, and I go, <clears throat> he goes, there's no water here. And I said, don't you see, because I left the test out for him to check out himself. And he said, see what? And I was like, right there. And he's, no, I don't see anything. I was like, on the sink? And he turns around and he looks at me and he raises his hands and he goes, I knew it. I effing knew it. And I was like, how did you know it? He goes, you peed your pants during your road trip. <laughs> and it ended up being one of the most amazing annoying road trips for my restroom usage, but one of the best things that ever happened to me, I would pee all day long, all the time, if that was the information I was going to find out. We, have, we now have a two-year-old, almost two-year-old, who we just brought with us on a road trip to Italy and Switzerland last week, and she was the most fun road tripper we have ever been with in our lives.